people who have been abused by their family members all day long, every single day, want justice. I know there's not a day that goes by that I don't want justice. And I think that you just can't help but to watch and see if your family members are getting their karma. Because you know that they had power on their end in ways that they abused in order to abuse us. They took advantage of their position. They took advantage of how they could watch us and keep track and figure out how to hurt us. Yeah, our families, they knew in ways it would be easier for them to get away with it. And they knew that it would be hard for us to go around telling people because people will say, everybody's family is toxic. Everybody's family is abusive in some way. Suck it up. That's the way it is. That's how family act. And we'd say, but what about love? What about that? Isn't your family supposed to be the first to show you love like love doesn't matter as most in a family in God's eyes is that what you're saying that is optional because they're family because they didn't choose you they just came into being into your in, into your life so they get a pass they don't have to love me if they don't want to. They don't have to respect me. Is that what you're saying? That that's life? Y'all have said this so many times. And I've said. That's a bunch of baloney. Because. I thought it doesn't matter. Who that person is. Whether they're family or friend. If you love them. They either love you back or stay away from you I could have swore that that applies to any type of relationship even family but people on the outside who don't experience what you experience with your family they don't experience with their family they cannot see the seriousness of what you've gone through See, a lot of people don't even believe the degree of pain that you've been through in your family. They think that you're attention seeking because some people have rose colored glasses on because their family is picture book, storybook family. They're the one that's accepted, accepted in their family. So they can't see from your seat how you're not accepted in your family they couldn't possibly imagine how you feel they don't care because in their family they're accepted and why should they care about whether you're accepted in your family they're not in your family that's how they feel so where do you go where do you go for someone to validate how you feel about how you're treated in your family but also help you maintain faith that karma will come to those in your family who did you wrong now we go to other people who've been through traumatic things in their family as well but the problem with that is that there's nothing there to raise us. We're all so low. We're all so low together. And we know what that does. It really doesn't 
bring progress in healing it just makes the energy just keeps being transferred it doesn't really push us towards believing strongly that karma will come to our family members see it's just a temporary fix a band-aid on the wound when we go to other people who have been through trauma in their family too but we don't need band-aids on our wounds anymore family trauma we don't need we don't want no more band-aids we got about a hundred band-aids on the wounds don't y'all I know I do I know that I have band-aided the, the 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 wound and the pain that my family has caused me I have put band-aids on top of band-aids on top of band-aids and at this point the wound the pain is getting worse because of the pressure of the band-aids at this point the pain wants to be dealt with it wants to go away completely and it wants justice and I will tell you why your pain your trauma that your family has left with, left you with why it wants justice see one of the first reasons is because your family had so much access to your brain in so many ways it had a chance to figure out how your brain work your siblings your aunties your uncles your mom and dad they got a close-up look on your subconsciousness because they saw you in action acting out your subconsciousness and they was able to create a whole profile program of you and they did not respect that gift they took advantage of that gift when they were supposed to feel blessed that they was able to see someone special was you that just wants to give a lot of love that they was able to see your true self so many times and didn't have to pay for it they did not appreciate that gift and that's why your pain wants karma to get them that's why deep down you always say I want justice I want them to get their comeuppance I want them to pay for this number two on the list they were able to connect with you at some of your most critical chapters of your life when you were sick when you was in financial trouble holidays birthdays when you had some serious stuff going on they was able to connect with you that mean they was able to see how you grieve how your pain flows how something affects you when it's bad they was able to see how you deal with suffering and weaknesses they was able to study your healing process they was able to study how you overcome how you overcome obstacles that was a gift the fact that they was able to study that it means they was called to help see when God puts people in your face to keep watching you go through stuff that person is assigned to you that person is assigned to help you to give you love to help you get through it they're not assigned to teach you a harder lesson about it when you already is getting a hard lesson because you're suffering in some way so that's why your pain wants justice that's why you want karma to get them number three on the list they have been able to channel you they can channel you real good they've been around your energy a lot they know some of your secrets 
They know some of your life pattern. They know some of, some of your interests, your passions, what makes you excited. They know this. So they have a lot of your metaphysical energy bubble, bits and pieces and vibrations of it. So they can tune in and channel you and see things about you you don't know they're seeing. They can spy on you. They can sense what you're doing. They can get visions of you. Visions of your future and the, and the present stuff too. That was a gift. They didn't respect it. They used and abused that type of power. They used it for their benefit. To stay ahead of you. To keep you in a compromising position. Using those visions. Those things that they were sensing about you. Through the channeling. That's why your pain wants justice. That's why your pain wants karma to get them. Because they use that power too. Also. To manipulate you. And to trick you. Into serving them in some way. Through using the secret information they got of you. As a way to control you. And you didn't even know. Because you might have been too young to know what channeling was. That there was channeling you to be calculating they knew what gifts to give you at certain times to make you forgive them for their abuse for the moment the the abuse they had no plan on stopping they were just going to start again down the road regroom you to trust them as family just to abuse you again and that's why you want justice. So you may not know this because it's deep down in your subconsciousness. Your brain knows this stuff. You know this. Your angel knows this. Your angel is touching you and saying, you need justice. You need justice for this stuff, for these reasons. See, there is an angel of justice. There is an angel of war. And it gives you the feeling. You might not know the information that comes with the feeling. But sometimes that angel will bring somebody like me into your life to give you the information that matches that feeling. That feeling of why you really want justice for that trauma that your family left you with. Number four on the list. They knew your weaknesses. They kept trapped. How else did they know when to attack you? Didn't y'all ever think it's weird that whenever they hurt you, they knew exactly what to say and when to say it? It was always on time with hurting you. It was always in the right way that it would really hurt you. See, that's why your pain wants justice. Because... When someone is able to see your weaknesses so much, it's because they're definitely assigned to help you. When they was able to see that you was weak at doing this and weak at doing that, you, was, you wasn't that good at doing that or doing this, they were supposed to step in and help. They wasn't supposed to sit up there and, and, and drive the nail in and, and make it worse and laugh about it. And keep on bringing it up. Telling you, aha, that's why you can't do that. And I can. That's why you can't do it good. And I can. They wasn't supposed to keep saying that. And that's why your pain wants justice. That's why you said, I want justice because not only did they abuse me, but they used my weaknesses. To make the abuse worse. Every now and then they would bring up my, my problem areas. They keep on spitting it in my face. I want justice. I want justice. Because they should have been the last people. To rub my weaknesses all up in my face. 
They should have been the last people because the only reason why they was able to see them that much or my weaknesses that much is because they was my damn family. That's why your pain wants justice, wants karma to get them. Number five on the list. They keep the most darkest secrets about you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They've heard other family members talk about you in ways that they'll never tell you. They think you'll never sense it because they've been your family. They've given you love at times. Fake love. Watercolor love. Watercolor. Let me say it again. Watercolor love. Water down. Fake love. But they know that they was able to at least hook you a little bit with it. So you'll doubt that they're keeping dark secrets about you behind your back. That they're hanging out with people who don't like you. That they're being friends with people who talk about you. That they have joined little groups before. All speaking about you. They think that their holiday gifts, their birthday gifts, their, their little compliment they throw out there sometime when y'all around people. They think that'll throw you off. That you will not sense that they are the keepers of some of the most disrespectful things that could ever been done to you behind your back. They think that when you think they're toxic, it's because of the things they're going through. And not because they a traitor behind your back. That's why your pain wants justice. That's why you want karma. That's why that trauma is so strong. Because see, your energy bubble, it senses things that's even going on behind your back. What's going on in their minds about you? You might not get the information, but you sense it because you have a spiritual cord attached to those people. That's why you say, why does this trauma feel worse than what I know has occurred to me, happened to me in the family? Because there's so much that has happened to you that they have done behind your back, in their minds, in their conversations, in the ways that I've talked about on this list that you don't know about. But your energy has felt it. And your energy knows. It's in your metaphysical space. They have deposited it there. They have put in your spiritual space the energy evidence of what they are doing to you. You may not know, but God knows. And God wants you to actually feel it most of all. Because feeling, in a lot of ways, reveals the truth. Almost always, actually. This is why you want justice. This is why your family will get karma worse than people who's not your family who did you wrong. This is why many of your family members will not go to the light, to all of heaven's light when you go. You will not see them there because they've crossed the line. They've all came into your life because there was something great about you. They were supposed to learn. They were supposed to feed good energy too. They think they didn't choose you, but they did. When they was all a soul, oh, they did. They got visions of you when they was a soul. And there was something great about your soul that made them choose to be in your soul family, your family. And they broke the soul law. They didn't follow through the promise they made to God before they came in the family of how they were going to treat you of how they were going to treat your greatness they lied to God 
They told God, you are somebody they want to be tied to in a family. And then as soon as they come and they see what you working with, they want to switch up. Oh, no. You don't make a promise to God. You don't make a promise to God with your soul. With it stamped in your soul. And then you come into a human body and change your mind. Oh, no. God don't got time for those games. That's why they're getting the karma. Worse kind of karma than anybody else gets. But you, you just keep your distance so the trauma heals eventually. Because distance do heal you. It does help heal the trauma. It does help the trauma to fade. And the cord to fade and detach as well. I hope this video was enlightening. I know it was for me. You know, karma's getting my family. Because they sat around and they saw me getting beat up as a little baby. Being given alcohol until I passed out. My family did that to me as a baby. Grown people were beating me up for no reason. A little toddler. Me. Me. And that's why my body has pain, unexplainable pain, unexplainable trauma. But my family kept it a secret. They don't want nobody to know. They pretended not to see. Why? Because they didn't want to end up being me. When they are all assigned to protect me, as I am assigned to protect them, even if it means they might end up like me. But they did not. So they're getting their karma and I'm keeping my distance because I want justice and in order for justice to finish doing its job, I must stay away from them. I must let them know by my distance, I want justice. Alright y'all, if you like this video, you know what to do. Thanks for watching.